एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ईशानी त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सेशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट व्हिच इज कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट एंड ऑटोमेशन नाउ द वंस व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे आर द बेसिक वंस द मोस्ट बेसिक वंस फॉर एग्जांपल द ट्रैक्टर्स ऑन व्हिच यू कैन माउंट योर कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट दैट इज योर एक्सकैवेटर और योर स्क्रैपर और ड्रिपर right so the basic equipment the basic vehicle on which we are going to mount our whatsoever required equipment that basic equipment are going to be discussed today in the very starting now please note that you should be able to remember the technical terms which we have discussed already because now i will be using those words directly when we are talking about the various equipment okay so let us start with the first the most basic one for us uh, because if i talk about a bulldozer if i talk about uh, in your terms you you may be calling it as a jcb machine if i talk about any kind of uh, various blades of excavation right if i talk about various blades of scraper or various blades of rippers then all of these blades all of these construction activity equipment are going to be mounted ultimately to the tractors correct so for that we need to study about the performance about the classification its mounting whether it is wheel mounted or whether it is crawler mounted right so any kind of construction activity or construction equipment which uh, you want to perform has to be mounted has to be drawn has to be towed has to be pulled or you can attach it directly for that all that purposes you are going to require a tractor right so now let us discuss the basic technical definition regarding the tractors if it is asked and also note that this is asked in your university exams as well so if i want to technically define a tractor then it says a tractor is a versatile machine what is a versatile machine it means it is an all rounder right it is used for multi purpose there are lots of purposes involved which can you you can perform with the help of tractors even for the plowing work right in the fields even for the plowing work in the fields tractors are used for transportation of material tractors are used you have to uh, attach your bucket to the tractor you have to mount it and you can tow it away right uh, for which we also discussed some technical terms so tractor is a versatile machine not just construction it is involved everywhere in the world so the technical definition which you are supposed to write down it says it is a versatile machine used mainly to push or pull roads is it is it in a very simple uh, language yes it is a versatile machine it is a kind of a machine kind of a vehicle used to push or pull loads right meaning any kind of mounting that can be done which can be pulled it can be pushed whatsoever is your requirement and then uh, the the energy right it converts engine energy to tractive energy meaning uh, the engine which is present inside the tractor right ultimately this is an automobile so we have discussed about traction right we know what is traction we know what is coefficient of traction all of these things are already discussed in the previous lectures so here the engine energy will be converted to tractive energy and that is going to help your equipment that is going to help your tractor to exert the pushing or the pulling load next it says it is used for clearing excavating hauling and conveying machinery right for us for construction purpose we have Uh, the purposes for which we can mainly use is clearing that means the uh, whenever you are excavating from the area you are excavating from the place and you have to clear it for the construction work for the excavation work so for clearing for excavation for hauling that is hauling and conveying that is transportation and uh, other such purposes can be used now uh, next we are going to classify the tractor into two types first classification which we have is wheel mounted tractor meaning wheel units you can see over here uh, the arrow is flashing right up to the image can you see the wheels are mounted below the cabin below the operating cabin right so the first classification is wheel units and the second classification is crawler units crawler mounted tractor 
till now we have been using this term very frequently crawler mounted so what is exactly crawler mounted you can see the image which is flashing right now in front of you can you see it is attached with cr crawler at bottom there are no wheels right instead of that we have a crawler which is made up of uh, sharp uh, blades which will be made up of steel so here if you are replacing the tires if you are replacing the wheel right with crawler then this will become your crawler unit that is your crawler mounted tractor now these two are going to be the most basic this this is going to form the base for your any kind of construction activity so i'll be using frequently either wheel mounted or crawler mounted right you have to remember what is the difference between the two so now let us see few points regarding the same so the first wheel units right it says it is used for light and speedy jobs now let us discuss a few points regarding the wheel units and the crawler units so first of all for the wheel units it says that it is used for light and speedy jobs right it is very obvious thing if you compare both of them then the speed gain will be more in the wheel units as compared to the crawler units right so for speedy jobs and for light work you can use the wheel mounted tractor next uh, we have the crawler mounted it means the crawler is going to lay tracks meaning as it moves forward it can lay track along with it that is the type of the mechanism that is track laying units it is used for heavy duty work where more tractive power is required see the difference over here here speed is not required tractive force is required right traction is required more so when you are talking about crawler mounted units if you require more traction as compared to speed then you are going to use the crawler mounted unit for heavy duty work and the speed required is less than the wheel type which i think i already discussed next the factors affecting selection of a tractor for whatsoever work for particular work if be it excavation be it conveying be it hauling right so what kind of tractor you are going to select will you select wheel uh, unit or you will select crawler unit so you can also write down a huge table uh, with points of difference between the wheel mounted and crawler mounted you will find out almost two to three points from the theory here itself so you can write down the difference between wheel unit and crawler unit and now we are going to discuss about the factors which affect when you are talking about when you want to select whether whether the uh, two of them which will be selected from the two of them so the first factor which we have is size required for the given job what is the size of the job what is the capacity what is the volume of the job be it light work or heavy work depending on that it will be selected next we have is purpose right what is the purpose uh, do you have to pull a load do you have to carry a load do you have to perform conveying and hauling or you have to perform bulldozing or you have to perform excavating so it depends on the purpose right and based on the purpose if it is for excavation then again you are going to have to check the type of the soil that is the parameter for selection of uh, either wheel type or crawler type next factor we have is type of footing that is the type of road type of surface type of leveled surface on which it is going to travel so if you have smooth surfaces then there may not be a very much big problem but if you are dealing with uh, surfaces where, where it is uneven where the topography is also not well then you may require crawler unit next we have a smoothness and firmness slope and length of the haul road if you are performing the purpose of hauling if you are hauling means you are lifting the weight and you are going to travel then it depends on the smoothness of the road surface its firmness its slope for the slope we have already discussed the grade resistance so all of these things combined together are studied for the performance of the various equipment and the last factor we have is type of work which is obvious thing it depends on what type of work you are performing now moving forward with the new term that is gradeability of tractor now let us see what the definition says it is defined as the maximum slope it is defined as the maximum slope expressed as a percentage up to which a wheel type prime mover or crawler may move at a uniform speed gradeability means grade we have discussed about grade resistance right 
So ultimately what is involved over here? Slope. Right? So whenever you are moving up a slope, whenever you are moving up a slope or down a slope, then for the performance of tractors, you are going to consider a new term that is gradability of tractor. You can calculate the gradability of tractor as well with the help of the standard formula which we have that is k equal to 11660 multiplied by t multiplied by g divided by w into r minus n upon 40. Now if a numerical is asked regarding the same then all of the values will be given to you. Uh, either of the one value will not be given which you will have to find out or sometimes in most cases you can find out gradability factor. It is expressed in terms of percentage. It means that it is the value, it is the percentage up to which a wheel, right, a, a wheel or a crawler of a tractor can move at uniform speed. That is known as gradability of tractor. Now, what are the terms denoting over here? Uh, K is the gradability in terms of percentage, right? Then we have total gear reduction, that is G. We have T, that is rated engine torque. In simple terms, just understand it is torque in kg into centimeter. R is the rolling radius of the tire in centimeter. N is the rolling resistance, which you already know. And W is the gross weight of the complete unit of the tractor. Right? As I have told you that these are uh, actually uh, the main subjects of mechanical automobiles. Also in automobile engineering this could come in uh, depth and detail. For now you have to just understand what is gradability of tractor. Next, we are going to discuss about advantages of two wheel and four wheel tractors. Right? You would have seen for yourself sometimes the tractor is mounted with two wheels and sometimes with four wheels. So what happens in these two cases? So if you have two wheel tractor, then first high tractive forces available, right? If you are using two wheel, right? If you are using two wheel tractor, two wheel mounted unit tractor, then the tractive force over here will be more as compared to the four uh, wheel unit. Why? Because the self weight will decrease in case of two wheeler unit mounted. And you also know what is traction, so I don't need to repeat that again. Next, increased maneuverability. What is maneuverability? Meaning uh, the property, the ability of the whatsoever material to perform work. Ability to perform work. In our case, ability to move. Right? You will be able to generate more force, more power as compared to four-wheeler in two-wheeler units. Next, we have is rolling resistance is less. Right? The resistance to rolling we have discussed uh, in very much depth about rolling resistance here it will be less and hence you will be able to uh, uh, generate more force more power and you can move the tractor next we have is advantages of four wheel type tractor first better steering properties right the control the control of the steering will be achieved more in case of four wheeler as compared to two wheeler because you yourself can imagine if you are driving a car then you will have more stability and if that same car is having two tires then it will be difficult so better steering properties are achieved next less tendency to bump over the rough roads right it is obvious thing it will bump less it will have impact lesser as compared to two wheel next can be driven at a greater speed right obviously instead of two wheeler you will have more efficiency in four wheeler so it can be moved at a greater speed and can work as an independent unit as well if you want to independently use it as a vehicle you can use it as well okay students so uh, let us keep up to tractors till today in the next session we will discuss about another basic level equipment that is bulldozer so till then memorize everything and we will meet in next session. Okay students have a good day. Thank you.